What up? It's your boy, Luke for Prez, back in the mix with another video for you guys. Hope everyone's doing great out there as usual. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a Central C type beat with the help of Captain Plugins. Central C is a UK drill rapper that's gaining some stateside traction. And he's actually one of my favorite artists right now. So I figured it would be a good topic for a video. It's very unique sounding beats. He utilizes a lot of Spanish guitar melodies, some opera type vocals, and of course those classic quintessential UK drill drums that are so unique and interesting and fun to make. So I'm gonna walk you guys through it right now. Let's do it. So today we're gonna be working at the tempo of 140, which is pretty much the standard BPM for drill music. And today we're working in the scale of E flat minor. As I mentioned, Central C's beats utilize a lot of guitar sounds. So I went into the sound preset section of Captain Chords Epic, and I found a cool guitar preset called Old G that I basically started this process with. I ended up changing it to something else, but just to kind of give my ear a, a good starting point, we went with the old G, and I came up with this pattern uh, that you can see here. It looks really complicated, but the way I got here is actually very simple. So I started with the basic E minor chord. I just clicked in this first box here at the top, which is just the, you know, the first chord in the scale that you choose. And then I went ahead and inverted this middle note. So before I do that, let me just show you how it sounds with just you know, the normal chord, right? But so what I went ahead and did for this first one is inverted that middle note and brought it up an octave. And so now it sounds like this. And to me, that just makes it sound a little bit more interesting. It also opens up a lot more frequencies that you're using. Now there's a lot more highs in it. So it kind of widens the stereo image, if you will. And then I just repeated that same chord, but this time I didn't invert it. And I also went ahead and chopped this F, the bass note, in half and brought it down to this C down here. And all I did to do that was literally just drag it down until I found a note that sounded good, which Captain Plugins makes it really easy to do because no matter where you drag, it's gonna sound good because it's all in the proper scale. So here's what those first two sounded like. And then from there, as you hear, I did the same thing. I just inverted this middle note of the same chord, but then I brought that middle note down one to the G to just create a little bit of that tension. And I continue to just mess with that same basic pattern with some slight variations for eight bars. So this is what the whole thing sounds like together, as is. Yeah. So that sounded good to me. I was ready to move on from there. So I went ahead and exported the MIDI, which you do just by clicking the export button. Uh, and then you can drag it into any channel strip that you like. So I went ahead and I dragged that MIDI into my favorite VST guitar on planet Earth, the Ilya Efimov nylon guitar. You've probably heard me talk about it before. It's got a really great Spanish guitar preset built in. So I went ahead and just basically played it as is. And this is what it sounds like. So I liked how it sounded, but the whole thing just seemed a little bit slow paced for me, given the fact that these drill beats are usually like really kind of up-tempo, fast moving, high energy, got a lot going on. So what I did from there is I actually bounced this out and turned it into an audio file. And then I took it and I shortened it or sped it up by double by just dragging it from the eight bar mark down to the four bar mark. And then I added some reverb because I thought it sounded a little dry. And all I did was just put on the standard space designer from Logic and then turn the wet down to uh, minus 16. I thought that sounded perfect. And I added a little bit of RC20 retro color to it as well, just to give it more of like a vintage authentic feel. I think it's a really handy plugin for that. And so now this is what the guitar sounds like. So like 
crazy big difference. Suddenly there's so much more bounce going on. And it just goes to show you one of the main reasons why I continually use Captain Plugins Epic is because of how great a starting point it can provide you with to then go ahead and put your own creativity on it, put your own sauce on it, if you will. And you can go from one thing that sounds a certain way and before you know it, you manipulate it a little bit and it sounds totally different. And the end result is the exact vibe that you were looking for. So I'm very pleased with how that guitar sounds. I think it's a good main melody component, but I wanted to get some strings because a lot of these beats have kind of like a epic feel. So I wanted to get like a, a violin sound or something to that effect. So you know I had to open up Captain Melody to make that happen. They got a really cool viola preset that I thought was perfect for this. And I came up with this really, really basic pattern, but I thought it fit with the guitar really well. So together, this is what they sound like. What more could you want, right? It's perfect. It's it's the the notes are mostly long and drawn out because the guitar is really bouncy. So and there's like a lot going on with it. So the for this like counter melody, you want it to be like a little bit more slow paced, drawn out, you know, just so they don't kind of clash with each other. At least that's my thought process. In order to create this, I basically just hit the randomize button several times until a pattern emerged that I thought was usable. And then from there, I just kind of clicked certain things around. I moved a couple notes up and down, and this was the end result. I also deleted some notes too, um, but yeah, pretty basic. And then I did the same thing. I actually exported the MIDI into my DAW and pulled up the Spitfire Audio BBC Orchestra free plugin. It's really dope. And I actually changed it to a violin sound. So now with the violin, it sounds like this. Perfect. As I mentioned before, a lot of Central Seas music has some kind of like opera vocals going on in the background. So I headed on over to Splice and I found a cool sample in the correct key that I thought might complement the beat well if used sparingly, because you don't want too many vocal sounds going on. But this is what that sounds like, and I, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, and I pitched that up, obviously, 12 semitones. You can kind of hear it. It's got the old school Kanye chipmunk kind of vibe. And then I just put an EQ on it to kind of get rid of some of the harsher high frequencies. And then I cut out all of the lows, obviously, as you can see. Then I added another space designer with the wet down to uh, minus 14 dBs. And I called it a day. I don't really go overboard with the plugins. If your sound selection is on point and your sample selection is on point, and if you're using a service like Splice or something like that, it's probably gonna be the case that you don't need to really over mix each sound. Same thing with the Captain Plugins presets, honestly, and you can actually mess with the presets in the plugins using the sound design tab here for all of the instruments. And some of them have different things that you can manipulate with them. So as long as you're using the correct tools, you really don't have to go overboard with the mixing plugins, in my personal opinion. From there, the next thing that I did was add the signature drill drums, which is my favorite part of these beats, because the bounce is just so unique. It's so different and fresh, and I love it, and I hope it continues to be a successful subgenre of rap. So here's what the drums sound like that I came up with. Best part right here. little glide at the end with the 808s. Love that. It's my favorite thing in the world about these beats. I'm gonna go ahead and arrange it now, show you guys the full breakdown of how the beat actually comes together, fully constructed, and that'll be that. Let's do it. All right, so I've gone ahead and arranged the beat. Everything is in place. I'm very pleased with how this one turned out. I can make these beats all day. As a matter of fact, I probably will be doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this and then I'm gonna get out of here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We got a lot of new content on the way at the Mixed and Key channel. I'm not stopping anytime soon, so get ready for more. And with all that being said, I am out. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the beat. Peace.